Of course, the markets are not plunging because of the reintroduction of the long-term capital gains tax. This is a global phenomenon. So maybe the timing of reintroducing the tax has been uh, a bad one and not what uh, you and the government had intended. But, you know, there are a lot of rumors that are doing the rounds. The first one, and this is not something we have said, but a lot of people believe that you could see uh, inflation indexation being allowed when it comes to long-term capital gains tax. Is that at all possible? Is there such a proposal on the table? My colleague Ruchi Bhatia is saying that's not the case. No, that's not the case. We have already clarified by our frequently asked question answer that no inflation index will be given for the cost of acquisition. It is a flat rate of 10% on the capital gains, which has arisen. And as per the scheme, <clears throat> we have already intimated that uh, the gains up to 31st of uh, January will be grandfathered, and long-term capital gain of 1 lakh rupees will be exempt. So there is no question of any inflation index as far as the gains are concerned. Uh a lot of queries that we've been getting in, they want to know what is going to happen to a person's portfolio once you uh, this tax has already been reintroduced. Is it going to be on the absolute gains or is it going to be on the net gains? So let's say I hold five shares in my portfolio. I make a loss on two, uh, but a gain on three. So will I pay the capital gains tax only on those three stocks where I have made a gain? Is it on the net gain and not the absolute gain? Mm. We have definitely, we have also clarified this uh, this particular provision that from 1st of April, even the capital gain loss will be offset against the capital gain, uh, which have been arisen to certain scripts. Earlier, this was not uh, being offset because there was no tax on the long-term capital gain, but now the long-term capital gain is taxable, so the loss will also be offset against the capital loss. Capital gain loss will also be offset against the capital gains. Chandra, now that you look at what's happening globally, the idea of removing the long-term capital gains tax in the first place had been to incentivize the stock markets to bring investors back uh, on the Lal Street. Obviously, the timing has been bad. It is not one that had been foreseen uh, during the preparation of Budget 2018. So you will not relook this proposal at all or even the fact that it's going to be at 10 percent. There is no possibility of re reviewing it. No, the, <clears throat> the timing has definitely been very, you know, wrong about it in the sense because nobody could have projected and nobody could have told that while with the global uh, scenario as far as the stock market is concerned. But our concern was only to tax it, uh, the unclaimed, uh, untaxed uh, long-term capital gain, which was something around 367,000 crores, which we have already spoken. So we have put a very marginal tax rate of 10% on this long-term capital gain. So there's no thinking, no rethinking on that issue at all. And uh, I have already explained there's no indexation. And so this uh, is still a very, to worry that this is still, is still a very subsidized rate of investment. And market did not plunge because of the LTCD. They very well clarified that on very first day of the budget, it dipped around 400 points, it recovered. So the market is quite mature to understand the concept of the long-term capital gains. The plunge is only because of the global clues and the global fall down of the stock market. Very glad, Mr. Chandra. Also, and I'd like to tell our viewers, we have not said it, but uh, others are saying it, and uh, the CBDT chairperson clarifying in no uncertain terms that there is going to be no inflation indexation. Uh, Mr. Chandra, before I let you go, can you tell us also why you have STT and long-term capital gains tax? A lot of people believe that uh, there's case for only one. I think it has been clarified, I think, in the various meetings also and in the various uh, queries also. That STT is only a very small sum, which is being charged as a 0.1%, <clears throat> while the, reg the regular tax on the long-term capital gain is 10%, and therefore both will coexist together. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chandra, for taking the time out and joining us here on ET Now. So when it matters, the big policy makers choose your channel. Important clarifications.